Tonight, we are talking to experts about the latest developments in the case of Monk Gigi. We told you as breaking news last night that Columbia police believe remains found at Rockbridge State Park belong to Gigi. Investigators previously believed her body may have been in the Lamine River. ABC 17 Chanel Porter is live at the police department. After looking into the change in direction of the case, Chanel, divers searched the Lamine River several different times for Gigi's body. Deb Lucas, Columbia Police searched the Lamine River outside of Boonville for Meng Shi Ji multiple times after her husband, Joseph Elledge, was found in the area for a 45 minute period when she went missing on October 9th, 2019. The theory of the case was the Lamine River. The theory of the case now is Rockbridge. That causes some confusion and that's a word you don't want in front of a jury. Former Cole County Prosecutor Bill Tackett said it's likely whoever left the human remains found at Rockbridge State Park wouldn't have cell phone location records of it because of the lack of cell phone coverage in the area. It looks a little well thought out is the problem in that you have him out here at the Lamine River with his cell phone hanging out causing everybody to go that direction while the body is in Rockbridge. Last night, police said there cannot be confirmation of the identity of the remains until DNA testing is completed. Dr. Michael Graham said the body being intact is a key factor. You know, assuming that the skeleton is otherwise intact, you know, you can compare it with previous dental records or dental x-rays, x-rays somewhere else of the body that they have. Depending upon how well the bone marrow is preserved, they may be able to do DNA. Forensic anthropologist Stephanie Golda said a lot of information can be gathered from skeleton remains. It depends on the amount of decomposition and skeletonization of the remains, but possibly um, those could indicate a uh, postmortem interval, which means the time since the decedent has passed. Tackett says the switch in locations for the body may make this case harder for prosecutors. So this is a pivot for a prosecuting attorney. This gives prosecutors gray hair. I heard back from Elledge's defense attorney, Scott Rosenblum, today. He said they will be thoroughly reviewing all of the evidence in the case. Reporting live in Columbia, Chanel Porter, ABC 17 News. And Joseph Elledge faces a count of first-degree murder in this case. He is currently in the Boone County Jail without bond. A trial date has been set for November.